<coughs> All right. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a track that was composed by S. Madison. Now, you might know S. as the brains behind the Digitone and the model cycles from Electron, but they are also just an absolute badass in general. They now run Fours, which is a software company. They make some of the best Max for Live plugins and VSTs, the most luscious Super Saw, and the Box Reverb is, I mean, I would pay any amount of money for that reverb. It is my all-time favorite reverb and I put it on everything. So this is a track that they made for the mono, well, the one track challenge. So what this is, is you can see it here. This is one single track of the M8 and S composed a song and it is without a doubt my favorite track that I've heard on the mate so far. And I really just kind of think that this track is a perfect example of how powerful the M8 is and the kind of endless potential that um, you can really squeeze out of this thing. And also, it's an amazing example of working within limitations and just holy cow. So let's take a listen and uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up. right yeah now <laughs> that's a fucking track and it's all one track so you're only ever hearing one sound at a time um so holy buckets let's break this down a little bit let's dig into it and um let's hopefully learn a few things because i know that this taught me a few things that i was like oh holy shit um so now I think <laughs> for me, the first thing that I was like is I was just, I was floored. I was like, what are the limiter settings? This guy's got to be doing some wild shit with tables. What, uh, you know, FM madness, something's got to be going on here. So shockingly, you know, the, the limiter's like not even hitting, uh, you know, it's like not even engaged for the most part. And then secondly, um, something that is truly uh, pretty wild, in my opinion, is most of these um, FM sounds that you're going to see here are, they are just the basic uh, algorithm. They just show an absolutely unstoppable mastery of what you can accomplish with 
good FM, you know? Um, so first of, first and foremost, this inspired me to take another look at some of these FM uh, patches in here and also re-examine how I was playing around with FM. Uh, and holy cow, there is no end to the power of the Mates FM. So let's take a look at a few other things here. So this first... <laughs> little portion here was absolutely wild right and you know what we're hearing is this absolutely thunderous kick drum which i mean look at this thing it's just it's just a sine wave it's just a nice big fat sine wave and he's using the high pass trick here low resonance high pass to bump that little subby bit up you know and it just sounds absolutely wild completely amazing here all right, so there's our like crazy FM sound here. Wow, would you look at that? It's just the bass algorithm with some, you know, beautiful values in there and just a decent amount of modulation and uh, a little bit of envelope, a little bit of a uh, little bit of LFO there, but you know, not too much craziness is going on. Oh, that's my pup. My dog loves this song, you guys. You wouldn't believe. He he comes in here when he hears this shit. He's like, whoa, <laughs> whoa got to clear it out. See, he's getting sassy. He wants to hear more. All right. Um, now, here's the one thing that I think is absolutely, you know, really wonderful for especially this mono challenge is this snare. Um, you know, he drops this snare on the eight here. Well, it's the three technically. Um, he drops this on the three here in almost every phrase. Um, you know, if we look at this. So, you know, you can see it's 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 banging there right on the three every time. No matter what else is going on, that snare just cuts in and it is absolutely delicious. It's just, you know, ooh, nice standard FM algorithm, beautiful, delicious snare, right? So we've got that going on, you know, this just delicious bass and um, these kick drums. You know, and that's another thing I love about this snare is that he gets a lot, a lot of mileage out of that thing because it's a very versatile sound. So by pitching it up and down, you know, there's a lot more um, timbral juice you can get out of it, right? And then, you know, so we get this little uh, quick transition to these beautiful, like, dingly... Oh, what's going on here, buddy? Oh. You know, I really do like this part. Um, This has got this amazing sub sound in here. Let me find it. There it is. You know, so that one is just absolutely beautiful. Where is it again? Find it. Oopsie daisy. Let's take a look here. Da, 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 da. So there it is. Okay, so it's this guy right here. Oh my gosh, that is just one delicious sub. Okay, so this one's a little bit different here. It uses still, though, quite a basic FM algorithm, right? So I hope you guys are getting the picture here. All these sounds are FM sounds. And, you know, so if we're looking at the structure of this song, we got 
heavy little intro here introducing these little belly bits and then you know the real flex starts to happen here this is something that i didn't realize you could even do but if you put a hop command to zero zero in a phrase it'll just skip right on to the next phrase so what they've done here is is they've put a you know they've faded out all of their little effects and you know not well not little effects they use the reverb and delay to very great effect here all the times that you hear the delay kind of skittering and you're like oh no there's more than one sound happening it's the delay it's the reverb so let's take a listen to this uh little so you see that that was we're gonna let this plane go over so you see how cool that was right so they just kind of popped you know boop just for a second got rid of all the effects faded them all down to zero and then they come in with this you know and very slowly you'll notice right here on the side all these little reverb bits are starting to go up you know and this is where i was like i was convinced i was like there's got to be some tables here right there's got to be tables going on you know this is the only table and it is assigned to the kick drum uh, i think uh yeah and it doesn't seem to really do much um but yeah not a lot going on here And when I say not really a whole lot going on here, I mean not a lot going on in the tables. Um, you know, but a lot going on over here. So this last little portion here where you're hearing both the, you know, lead part and all of these earlier, like, heavy, hard-hitting basses is just, like, the absolute flex, you know? So if you look at some of these these phrases, I mean, just, wow, look at what's going on here, you know? There's, like, just eight different instruments all... And still, we're seeing that snare on the three... And everything else is kind of just orbiting around it. It's really, really nice. So, you know, I'm I'm going to just talk about this a little bit more. But, uh, you know, then I'll get out of your hair. Uh, I think that this shows not only an extreme mastery of FM synthesis, but also of just basic song structure. You know, um, they, they put the they put the freaking snare on the three. And everything else kind of just like shaped around it. And this limitation of using this one mono track really opens up the mix and allows you to just freaking do whatever you like. And as long as you keep these sounds pretty level, you're just, you, it just sounds great. You don't got to use a limiter at all. Um, so with that being said, I would encourage you folks to give this a shot. Um, I've done a lot of mono sort of challenges like this lately, and uh, I've been making some really cool stuff. It would be absolutely embarrassing to show you after this. It would just, you know, I'm not going to do that to myself. But um, I would really encourage you to go try this. You know, maybe in the next video we'll break down. I'll get the least embarrassing one I can, and uh, we'll take a look at some strategies for how we can do this. But most importantly, I'd like you to just, you know, enjoy this track. You know, I think it embodies uh, um, how powerful the mate is. I think it really also embodies the spirit of trackers, you know, because S shared this in the Discord. So I would also encourage you to go over there, go check out the Discord. And, um, you know, you could get this for yourself if you dig deep enough and you can dissect it. You can, you know, steal that snare. I, I did. Shh, please forgive me. Um, but I, you know what? I also bought like all of S's 
uh, Max for Live things. So I would encourage you to go do that too. Um, they are absolutely worth it. And, you know, pay attention to this person because they are uh, absolutely killing it lately. Everything that they do is I'm, I'm in awe of. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little track breakdown, this look at, uh, you know, nerdy little look at what the mate can do. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.